Well, good morning and welcome to our program this morning. I'd like to look with you at Mark 1, verse 35 to 39. The question I want to look at here is, Jesus was God. How important was prayer for him? Let's see what our text tells us. Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out, this is Jesus, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, because for this purpose I have come forth. And he was preaching in their synagogues throughout all Galilee, and casting out demons. So there's our story this morning. Uh, Jesus it goes out, and they, when they get up, they can't find him. He's gone out before them, and he's praying. How important was, was prayer for God? Well, you know what? Jesus was engaged in preaching and teaching and healing, and communion with God was a necessity for him, just as it is for us. Now, you might think, well, no, he was Jesus. He, he didn't have that need, but he did. If he needed it, how much more do we need it? So we want to um, be in communion with God so that we can be available for him so they can use us in a powerful way. We can speak for him as Jesus would speak for him powerfully. Jesus was God, but he had laid aside uh, many of those divine powers, although he was still God. Well, let's you and I pray. Dear Father in heaven, Jesus went out a long time before the morning, before dawn, and prayed and prayed and communed with you. We want also to commune with you so that we are ready for the day. If we haven't communed with you, we're not ready for the day. They tell us that if we don't have breakfast in the morning, we're not ready for our day. But if we don't have physical food, it's certainly even more uh, egregious. Lord, it's an even more pressing absence if we didn't start the day with you. So Lord, be with us today. Thank you that we can come to you in prayer and that you can help us to be on your team today and speaking your word with wisdom. Not too much not too tart, not too sweet, but just what people need uh, in amounts larger or smaller, as the case may be, or just in our acts. Thank you for letting us ask for your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. There you have it. Let's get on with our day and have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus Christ. So maybe you've had some experiences You began when you began your day in prayer with God, and feel free to share some of those in the comments below. God be with you today and watch over you.